Today we are going to go over Linux file permissions. This is a very important concept for both beginners and intermediate users. You are going to use this concept for everyday tasks as well as cyber security applications. So let's get started. I am going to open my terminal now. If you have not watched my previous video, please do so. So I go over some of the more basic commands in that video. I am going to link that in the description. So now that we are in our terminal, I'm going to go to my desktop, so CD desktop, and let's see the files that we have on our desktop. So now we can see these are the different files and directories that we have on our desktop. So file 1, file 20, there's a program, hello program, also new folder. Now for each of the file and directory, the left hand side you can see these letters, so dash R W dash R W we also have X D so these are what indicate the file permissions for these files and directories now before uh, we actually go over these specific files and directories and I show you how to change these permissions I'm gonna show you some of the more basic concepts so I have made a PowerPoint presentation and I think this will be very helpful for you to understand how all these work. So let's get started here. Now we have different kinds of permissions. The first one is read which is indicated by R. So write W and execute which is X and if there are no permissions then you have a dash. Now for this example for hello.c file we have the username is Sadat and the group name is also Sadat. Now let's take a look at the permissions. So at the very left you have a dash. So if you see a dash there that means this is a file and if this was a directory then you would see a D. Of course hello.c is a file so you only see a dash. Next these three letters R, W and dash these are for user permission. So user here is Sadat. So Sadat can read this file, write to this file but cannot execute the file. Similarly for the group which is also Sadat you have read, write and dash. So they can also read, write but cannot execute. Finally others so others can only read the file, they cannot write, they cannot execute the file. Let's take a look at another example. Now this time the file name is hello program, the username is Sadat and group name is root. This is also a file so we have dash, then the user permission now read, write and execute. So Sadat can read the file, write to the file and run the program as well. The same thing applies to the root group which is read, write and execute. But for others they do not have any permission. So they cannot read, they cannot write and they cannot execute. Now let's go back to our Linux operating system. And we are going to come back to this slide again. So now you know how these work and what these letters mean. So we can see for new folder as this is a directory. So we have a D here. Then Sadat is the username and Sadat can read write execute. Then the group is also Sadat and they can read write execute and finally everyone else they can read, cannot write, but execute. So you know how it works. So now you know what these file permissions mean. So let's see how we can change the users and groups for each one of these files. So let's start with maybe file 1. Now file 1's user and group is set to Sadat. So let's change that. The command to do that is sudo we need privilege so that's why you are going to use sudo so sudo then chown 
so change owner and let's say I want to change the ownership to root and the file name so here the file is file one so sudo for privileged access then ch on change ownership the new owner and the file name so when I do that it's gonna ask me for the password I give the password and you are not gonna see any output but we can verify by printing out the access now so let's see did we change the owner or not yes we did now you can see the new owner or the new user is root whereas previously it was Sadat so we can change the owner this way what about the group we can change the group too by sudo ch on and say I want to change both user and group in the same command so that would be root colon root so user colon group and then file and let's check if that worked yes it did so we changed both the user and the group using this command now of course you could choose to change only the group as well so maybe you don't want to change the uh, user but only the group the command to do that so let's maybe change only the group so the command to do that would be sudo then change group so chgrp then maybe I want to change the group to say Sadat and file one so when I do that you can see now my group is changed from root to Sadat so these are all the commands that you need to change the ownership however we have not changed the file permissions so far so we only change the user and group so let's see how we can do that so let me clear the screen and have this ready so let's see how we can change the permissions here maybe I want to uh, give some permissions for the others so right now others cannot read or write or execute this hello program so how do I change this so the changing command is easy but the numbers or what we are using that requires some understanding so let's go back to the PowerPoint slide and let me explain this to you now when you have these numbers if you read write and execute that means you have all three permissions so if you have all three permissions you're gonna do one 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 and this is in binary and when you convert binary to decimal you get seven so you might already know this if you do not you can see the list here so I have mm, given you all the binary and the corresponding decimal values you can also find these in online binary to decimal conversions so if you want to give someone read write and execute permission you're gonna give the number seven similarly if I do not want them to give any permission that way would be zero 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 so no permission and for zero 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 the result is decimal is also zero well, let's see another example so this case I want to give the user read and write but not execute so that would be one one zero so for one one zero the conversion is six so you know how it works so you see all the combinations so depending on if you want to give them read write or execute you can change these numbers so let's go back or to our VM so for others we want to say give just read permission for hello program so how do I do that so the command to do that is chmod so you're gonna start with sudo you need privilege and chmod sometimes you may not uh, need sudo but it's just better to use sudo to be safe uh, sudo chmod and say for read write um, execute uh, this is for Sadat so I want to give him all permissions that's seven also for the group 
I want to give them all permissions, so that is also 7. However, for others I want to only give read, so that would be 1 and write and execute would be 0 0, so that is 1 0 0. If you convert 1 0 0 to decimal, you are going to get 4. So, sudo chmod 774 and finally, the name of the file which is hello program. If I do that, it should change the permission. So, let us go back and check and you can see it did. So, now instead of dash dash dash, I have changed it to read dash dash. What about if I also wanted to give, say I want to give it the right permission. So, that would be 1 1 0. If you convert 1 1 0 to decimal, you are going to get 6. So, let us go back and change it to 6. So, sudo chmod 776 and when I run that command, you will see I have now changed it to read, write and dash. You can do the same thing for other files. So, let us see one final example. Let me clear the screen. Uh, Let us say I want to change the permission for this file 1 and right now we only have read write access uh, and not execute for users. So, how do I change that? So, again sudo chmod then if I want to make it executable permissions or maybe I want only read access for everybody. So, let us let us do that. So, read access for everybody. So, read access for everybody means uh, this is going to be 1, 0 for write and 0 for execute. So, 1 0 0 converting that to decimal you get 4. Similarly, I want to make this one say 1 0 0 also 4 and also 1 0 0 so 4 and finally file 1. If I check the permissions, so you are going to see now this can only be read by users, our group and everybody else. That is all for today. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel and please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or any problems whatsoever. Thank you.